Velvet Buzzsaw is a horror thriller starring Jake Gyllenhaal and Rene Russo and is directed by Dan Gilroy, who also made Nightcrawler, one of my favorite movies of 2014. This story takes place in the subculture of the LA art scene, where terrible people rule the industry. People like top critic Morf Vandervoldt and art dealer Redora Hayes. Everything is peachy in their snobby little world, but when Redora's assistant Josefina finds her neighbor dead outside of his apartment, things take a turn. The man upstairs was named Ventral Dees, who was mentally deranged and somewhat of an artist himself. Dees had no next of kin, so Josefina helps herself to all of his paintings. Whoever lays eyes on them is instantly mesmerized. The art world is impressed and everybody wants a piece of the pie. But Dees, although dead, is not cool with that. This is one of those movies that you don't feel sympathy for any of the characters. They're all horrible, obnoxious people. But they're really fun to watch. Velvet Buzzsaw reminded me a lot of horror movies such as Final Destination, almost like a satire version of it, but with higher paid actors and a much better cinematographer. The best part of this movie is the acting and its characters. Rene Russo, Tony Collette, John Malkovich, and all the backstabbing secondary characters. Everyone is great. Jill Nall is obviously the star of the show as the weirdo Morph. Seriously, who names their kid Morph? He has this way of speaking in art lingo that's really gross and funny at the same time, and he has some great moments. Seeing Jake Gyllenhaal unravel is really fun to watch because he's so damn good at it. The admiration I had for your work has completely evaporated. I mean, if that's not a meme waiting to happen, I don't know what is. I also really like the premise and the setting. It makes for interesting death scenes. I mean, who doesn't want to see a purring metallic sphere trying to eat someone's arm? Which was, by the way, inspired by the movie Roman Holiday with Gregory Peck and Audrey Hepburn. Dan Gilroy has a very dark sense of humor. That's one of the things I like about him. One of the constants in this movie is a young assistant named Coco. You know, that girl from Stranger Things? And her employers keep dying on her, and at some point it becomes downright funny. So all in all, Velvet Buzzsaw is pretty cool, but it doesn't stand out as one of the better horror films I've seen, and I guess that's why it's on Netflix. I was a little bit disappointed by the final scene. I mean, anyone with half a brain could have seen that coming. Still a good scene, it just didn't surprise me. Velvet Buzzsaw isn't the best film Dan Gilroy has made. I mean, I absolutely love Nightcrawler, and it's hard to top that one, but it's interesting to see him try different things. But even with great acting and a unique setting, it's not something I would go see in a big screen. Which works out great, because it's on Netflix. Velvet Buzzsaw is a bronze medal. The admiration I had for your work has completely evaporated. Okay, I meant a golden nugget. I like it. It's very... Ballsy. Ballsy.